After logging into your Moodle course and turning on the editing, look to the bottom of your right-hand column. You'll see an area labeled Blocks with an Add drop-down below. Click the drop-down and choose Remote RSS Feeds. A new block called Remote News Feeds has now been added to your right-hand sidebar. Click the hand pencil icon or the link saying click here to configure this block. At the top of this page you'll see two tabs. We're on the Configure tab, but we first got to Manage. Click the Manage All My Feeds tab. This is where we'll tell Moodle which news source you'd like to feed to your course page. Now comes the tricky part. Open a new browser tab or window and go to the website you'd like to feed to your course. Usually this is a news or journal source, something with daily updates like the New York Times, Reuters, or a professional journal. For our example, I'll use the journal Nature. On the Nature website, I'm looking for information on the RSS feed. Usually, this is at the very bottom of the website. I'll click on the link to RSS. And like many sites, there will be lots of feeds I can choose from. For this purpose, I want the Nature Magazine, so I'll select Nature Issues. Once I'm on the feed site I'm interested in, I'll copy the URL of this feed site. Now we'll head back to your Moodle page. We're on the Manage Feeds area. Paste the URL for your feed right here, then click Add. Now that we have the feed added, we configure it. Click back to the Configure This Block tab. You have a few decisions to make. Display each link's description will bring a brief description of each link sent by the journal site. The length of the description is set by the site. Sometimes this is a sentence, sometimes a long paragraph. Number of entries refers to how many links you want displayed on your course page. Now select the feed. If you want, you can add additional RSS feeds. Just go back and add another URL to the Manage Feeds tab. And you can display content from multiple sources on your page. Ignore the title, leave the links setting as is, and lastly, determine if you want a channel image. This means if the journal site has an image associated with their news feed, they'll send it to your Moodle site. Experiment with this. If it looks nice, keep it. If not, you can update this block and remove the channel image. Click Save Changes. You should now see the feed on your course page. Each link will take your students to the original site for exciting and course-relevant reading.